hello guys and welcome to another exciting video on this channel in this video i am going to address the issue of image size requirements on redbubble now as you already know redbubble has several different products and each and every different product has different print size requirements so i'll share some tips regarding these uh, these as well and i'll also share uh, what should you not do regarding image sizes while uploading them on Redbubble and especially those photographic images which you have taken through your camera or maybe a cell phone or maybe if you have done some kind of traditional drawing, traditional media using painting and all that so if you have scanned those images so I'll share some tips uh, regarding those how you can resize those images as well so uh, let's get started So some time ago uh, a video came up in my YouTube suggested videos by this uh, YouTuber uh, that has uh, the same that is uh, you know creating videos on the same business topics and especially on Redbubble and the video that came up was this one is that how to post on Redbubble and th in this video this uh, this girl suggests that you resize your images by 9000 into 9000 pixels and where this girl went wrong in resizing the image is that she just tick on this lock icon and you know it means disconnected the proportions of the horizontal and the vertical sides or the width or the heights so disconnecting this proportion is going to either squish your images or it is it is going to you know in simple words it is going to mess up your image proportion and the look of your image so i would highly suggest is that do not while scaling up your images whether whichever software you are using and in this case she is doing this you know built in mac uh, image viewer or whatever that is so do not in any case do not uncheck these uh, this option in which you are going to disconnect the horizontal and the vertical sizes so definitely don't do it and uh, if this girl is watching this video and uh, i would highly suggest her to stop doing these things stop doing this you know resizing the image in this way and uh, uh, i'll show you how you can properly resize your images uh, in, in, in using this uh, you know any kind of software so uh, make sure that you watch the video till the end so before I move forward let me show you another thing here is that on Redbubble there are actually two designer areas or you can say the uploader uh, areas uh, and uh, you can easily see that if I select this shirt's first option the standard print clothing you can see that it gives us this option in this kind of uh, format and if i select this large print option large gate if the designer area is kindly changed and you can easily see that and the you know you have different ways of uh, doing the same thing but the designer area is a little bit changed so there is two designer areas or the upload areas uh, that are currently uh, available on this uh, redbubble platform and uh, this is something uh, yeah, that you need to keep in mind because in in the old traditional area this was the previous one or traditional one uh, you could easily resize it uh, your photos and all that which could you know go beyond this uh, you can say uh, the, the minimum size requirement and you can easily resize those and but uh, in this new areas you cannot go beyond the actual size of your uh, you know the file that you uploaded so that is something that you need to keep in mind now let's talk about what size is suitable for redbubble uh, if you want to you know just upload one size one file for all of your products so if i go to their uh, you know help center and in, the, in this uh, section dimensions and format and under this dimension and format they suggest that this is the recommended size you know uh, 7632 into 6480 uh, is the recommended size if you want to upload it a single file for every of uh, all of the products that are available on redbubble now this is kind of outdated because redbubble has recently uh, introduced new products and and that product is uh, one of those products are actually going beyond this size this maximum size that they previously suggested now another thing that you can uh, take advantage of is that they have mentioned size requirements print size requirement for each and every different product that is available on their platform and for some of the products they have provided some templates which you can download and you know uh, create a print size 
for that specific product uh, what i would suggest is that you should create a separate file for different uh, products for different special products and that is because some of the products would not look good with your standard one size for all thing and uh, one of those products is this mug template because it has the horizontal length horizontal length is much larger than their the vertical length and also for the these products like um, wall clocks and also for other products uh, that have uh, that need to use some kind of special templates and that is this duffel bag and the backpack the duffel bag and then there is another uh, some some of other products uh, that uh, use some kind of special templates so now that we know that some of the products are going to require some kind of special template it doesn't mean that you should always provide the special template sometimes you can uh, upload a single image uh, and you know apply it for all of these products and uh, that is the case in which you are uploading a repeating pattern a square pattern or maybe a rectangular pattern uh, uh, um, and the thing is that the pattern is actually repeating it is a seamless so you can take advantage of their uh, you know tiling options of that image so you can use the regular grid option uh, for the repeating patterns and that is suitable for those cases but what happens if you are uploading it uh, maybe be a photographic image taken by camera or maybe a cell phone or using you know scanned image and it is not a vector image in case of vector image that is easy you can scale up vectors um, to any size that you require that is a separate thing but in this video i'm going to suggest how you can uh, resize the images that are not vector images so in this case uh, there is a certain rule that i have uh, which i usually follow uh, to upload your designs so the first thing is that i if i have a photographic image if i have a simple scanned image uh, maybe in a jpeg format and in a png format i always resize it to this size requirement 7632 and 6480 is the size that i usually resize my images to this thing but i keep the proportion i'll talk about the proportion later you know, while uh, showing you an example but i always try to upload in this size requirement so uh, so once that uh, image is uploaded then i go and create templates and print size templates for different products for clocks and for uh, these mugs and also for the duffel bag and for the backpack and if you are new to this channel you can find all of these templates all or my i have previously created videos in which i have created templates for these products and for some of these products i have provided templates that you can download under those videos so make sure to you that you check the channel for those videos and you can download those templates free of cost so let's talk about the size now so uh, currently in uh, today that is the 3rd july 2020 uh, this image uh, this product jigsaw puzzle has the largest size requirement among all of the different products that they are currently that are currently available on this uh, platform so the the maximum size that is currently required for any product is this one that is 9075 and x6150 this is the largest print size required for any product that is available here so uh, now uh, before i go into scaling an image and showing you an example one thing that you need to keep in uh, in mind is here is that the first number that is present here that is 9075 is actually the horizontal length and the vertical length is going to be the second number so keep in mind this thing for any of the products for any of the you know uh, sizes uh, print size required for if you check the duffel bag this is the this size so the first number is will, uh, will always be the horizontal length and the second number will always be the vertical length now let's uh, let me show you an example of scaling up an image properly so i have this photographic image open uh, in uh, affinity photo you can use any kind of other software you can use photoshop maybe game and any, any other software that you might use and the main uh, you can say the concept will be the same so i have already created a tutorial on on editing this photos so make sure that you check that tutorial if you are serious in you know editing uh, photos your photos in affinity photo so i'll put the link in the card above so make sure you check out that uh, make sure you check that out as well so i have this uh, uh, image open and let me show you what this uh, the size of this image so i'll go to the document and this size document 
and this is the current size of this uh, image that is 4948 and x3820 now again there is a lock button if i unlock it it means that the proportion the horizontal length and the vertical length are not going to be scaled up proportionally and it is going to mess up the image so we do not want it always check this lock button whether there is a chain link button for different you know in any other software or lock button make sure that is always locked so the horizontal length and the vertical length are always locked now let's talk about the resizing of this image so again that i already suggest you uh, said that this is the size that i normally scale up my images photographic images and upload it on red bubble and then i upload uh, a separate image specific images specific print size templates uh, for those specific food products for example clocks for those mugs duffel bags backpacks so uh, they require special type of print sizes and special uh, type of uh, designing so i use that uh, differently but this is the main size that i require so 7632 and 6480 remember that now if i create this one is that 7632 you know the vertical size becomes this one which is 5059.2 but the vertical size that they require is 6480 which means that we are our vertical size of the image is actually shorter than the required size so what happens in this case is that i go back to the image size before you know actually applying or resizing the image I'll change it to 6480 and then you can see that now our horizontal size is actually gone beyond that the horizontal size requirement of the, uh, that uh, you know that this just is 7632 it doesn't matter the vertical size is actually equals to the vertical size that is required so now uh, comes the rule of resizing the image the rule is that if you are um, and now in this case uh, the image is actually in the landscape mode which means that the, its horizontal size is much longer than the vertical size so it means that at if i scale the uh, if i scale the vertical size equal to the vertical size of that image so equal to the vertical size of this requirement it means uh, if you look closely uh, to this number you can easily uh, see that it means that their horizontal length is much more longer than there is vertical length so the their size requirement is actually in the landscape format and our image is also in the lens say uh, landscape format so that is good which means that we can match the shorter size the vertical size equals to the uh, shorter size of their recommended size that is a 6480 now if i resize it here it will be suitable to upload for all of different products whether these are wall tapestries throw blankets duvet covers shower curtains so that will be suitable for most of those products in this case but it will not be suitable for a duffel bag and let me show you why so here is the duffel bag template and their size requirement is this much which is 4050 and 7800 so which means that our vertical size that is 6480 is not suitable for duffel bags if i want to upload it for the duffel bag i have to change this image because you can see that the duffel bag image is different quite different these their horizontal length is much shorter than there is the vertical length so it means that the print file that they require is in the vertical format it is not in the landscape format it is in the portrait format in those cases i upload separate image for a duffel bag if i am going to upload the same image which i am not going to do um, because i am going to use the specific template that i have created for that particular product duffel bag and backpack and i'll put the link for that video in the card box so make sure you that you check that template and also download those templates for free so if i'm going to upload uh, the same image i'm going to change this vertical as you can see this uh, length to the vertical size required so that is 7800 i'm not caring about the horizontal length because the image is in the landscape format but the duffel bag requires a vertical format which means that its vertical side should be equal to this much that is 7800 and if i resize it now i will be able to upload it on that bubble so that is something that you need to keep in mind for these products if your image is landscape format and you are uploading it for that portrait format or vertical format image you need to match the sizes of the shorter lengths 
means that vertical size should be equal to the vertical size that you are going to scale up your image to so 7800 is going to be its vertical length and it should be equal to the vertical length that they require for the duffel bag now if i go back into 6480 let's go back and select 6480 now the dpi doesn't matter as they already suggest on their website but 300 dpi is okay and so uh, now you can see that horizontal length is this much 97750 the vertical length is this much now this horizontal length 97750 Uh, 0.3 is much larger than they are required. That is this one 7632, which is okay. It can be larger than their uh, required size, but it should not be shorter than that. And it also good to upload on this jigsaw puzzle because in jigsaw puzzle their horizontal length is 9075. That is not equal to 7632. If I was going to scale up and crop the image into this format, exactly into this format, that would be wrong. now if i upload the same image on all of these products except for the full bags i can upload the same image because this then my image size that is uh, the required image size is this one 9075 into 6150 but my image size is much more larger than they are required size for this uh, you can say jigsaw puzzle which means it is okay to upload it on those products so this is something that you need to keep in mind and the simple rule is that your horizontal length if the image is in landscape mode as in, a, in as a, this one this image is and if it, the print size is also in the landscape mode your shorter length should be equal to the short length of that product and if the image is in the landscape mode but your required image size is in the vertical format that is the case of the duffel bag then your shorter length should be equal to the maximum length of that vertical size products that is 7800 so this is something uh, that you need to keep in mind but if your image is in you know horizontally and vertically in the same size it is in the square format you can scale it up um, you know to match the horizontal and vertical size that is not going to make any difference the only problem occurs when you have a landscape images or the portrait size images so the proportions are not the same of the length and the width actually the size of the length and width is not the same so this is uh, is going to uh, this video is going to help you in that case so hopefully you have found this video to be useful and if you have any question if you have any confusion regarding the print size requirements for red bubble you can ask me in the comments below and also i would like to uh, point out that this channel is currently not monetized so uh, all of we creating all of these videos takes time this um, you know it takes effort it takes time and there is currently no benefit of uh, you know creating these videos for you so if you are um, if you can please subscribe to this channel and press that bell icon and like the video it will help me a lot and it will encourage me to create more videos so uh, Uh, subscribing to this channel is going to help you a lot and it will encourage me to create more videos so thank you for watching